As a matter of fact, since implementation of the national security law, street violence, which had haunted Hong Kong people for months since June 2019, have subsided and stability restored. Such a stable environment is vitally important to the prosperity of Hong Kong and the business activities of both local and overseas enterprises here. I hope the new U.S. administration will view the national security law in Hong Kong in a fair manner. Meanwhile, I and my 11 senior colleagues who have been sanctioned will not be intimidated. We will continue to steadfastly, dutifully and lawfully carry out our duties to safeguard our country's national sovereignty, unity and territorial integrity. With Mr. Biden becoming the 46th President of the United States, we hope that bilateral relations between the world's two leading economies will start to improve, providing the impetus for global recovery. President Xi Jinping has made our country's position clear. In his congratulatory message to President Biden, President Xi said that he hoped the two sides would uphold the spirit of non-conflict, non-confrontation, mutual respect and win-win cooperation, that they would join hands with other countries and the international community to promote the noble cause of world peace and development. And I'm glad to know that President Biden, in his inauguration address, seemed to echo President Xi's sentiments, at least in terms of the importance of international cooperation.